the buildings that have survived to this day from time immemorial have two periods of their existence when they look the best. The first is right after they were built in time immemorial. Well, it's clear, everything new looks beautiful. The second period, after the restoration in the 20s, 21st centuries, when people learned to appreciate the artifacts of past centuries, organized all sorts of UNESCO and established a transport system so that the most competent specialists could work with any of the wonders of the world. We are interested in the period somewhere in between, usually it is the middle and of the 19th century, when people had already invented photography and could capture the state of the legendary buildings of the past, and the state of many at that time was very deplorable. Watch the video to the end. In addition to the restoration of ancient objects, other archaeological finds are waiting for you. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. J Tomb, 2000 years old. A group of archaeologists during excavations in the Chinese province of Shaanxi discovered a tomb with one of the largest collections of jade objects in history. The age of the find was estimated at 2,200 years. Scientists are studying this area with special attention, since the world-famous burial place of the Terracotta army is located nearby. The tomb they found was large and belonged to a rich and high-ranking person. The entrance turned out to be inclined, which is unusual for buildings of this kind. Inside, not only 2,200 jade items were preserved, but also ceramic dishes, gold and bone jewelry, bronze parts of chariots, a terracotta figurine, and other valuables. It is not known for certain who might have been buried there. Scientists have suggested that the tomb could have been built for someone close to Emperor Liu Heng. His own mausoleum is also nearby. Mysterious Temple Under the Scent on the territory of the settlement of Paramalapadu, the locals first found and then manually dug out the temple, which had been under a layer of sand for the last 80 years. It was built about 200 years ago. The elders of the village told that the ancient temple was completely covered with a layer of silt and sand after the Pana River flowing in this area changed its course. According to the official version, the locals did not have time not only to save the temple complex itself, since everything happened quickly, but also to save all the valuable items located there. And not so long ago, local residents began excavations. During the work, the villagers, among other things, found a statue of Shiva. It can be seen that not the entire temple was excavated, but only its upper part. What is the depth of the river to bring the whole temple? And for what reason did it change course, and so rapidly? 1.4 million year old bone axe an international team of researchers from Japan, Hong Kong, and Ethiopia have discovered a rare bone axe that they believe was made by one of human ancestors about 1.4 million years ago. A unique artifact was discovered in Ethiopia during excavations in a place called Kanzo Gardula. Earlier at the same site, scientists discovered several axes that were made by representatives of the human species Homo erectus. All of these tools were made of stone. However, in this case, the weapon turned out to be made of bone. This is only the second Homo erectus bone axe known to science. The analysis showed that its age is about 1.4 million years. Laboratory research helped determine that the artifact was made from a hippopotamus femur. The axe had an oval shape. Its length was approximately 13 centimeters. Only one edge was sharp. Probably the ancient master used another tool for sharpening, presumably a stone one. By its design, the bone axe is similar to the stone axes found here earlier. However, their manufacturing technology probably differed slightly. Stone tools were made in a rather primitive way. It was enough for the master to split the stone with one strong and sharp blow. The result is a sharp cutting edge. If it was not possible to do this with one blow, a second blow followed, followed if necessary by another and another. Wine 300 years old in addition to the goods being transported, archaeologists recovered a large amount of dishes from the Archangel Raphael ship. The marking on it speaks of the multinational composition of the crew. For example, 
Dishes with a double-headed eagle and a personal engraving of the master or owner, Heinrich Lefrensen, were found in the stern of the ship near the captain's salon, and in the middle part of the hull of the Archangel Raphael, experts found a bottle of white wine, 300 years old. Judging by the masterful work, it was intended for guests of honor. On the side is a horseman with an inscription, Prince, in Latin. Anticipating the most common question, the wine survived, but it turned into vinegar. Engravings in the form of a double-headed eagle, presumably Austrian, are clearly visible on plates and spoons. These items most likely belong to the captain or clerk who accompanied the cargo. An interesting fact, when the divers discovered the dishes in the galley area, they shone strongly in gold. Archaeologists internally rejoiced, have they really found artifacts made of precious metal? But on the surface, it became clear that the oxide gave a golden sheen. Further examination confirmed the absence of precious metals. The dishes, on average, are 90% tin with impurities of lead, copper, bismuth and iron. The Shrine of Constantinople is revealed in all its glory. An ancient temple from the Byzantine era with the Holy Spring was found during excavation in the Sultanahmet district of Istanbul. The find was made back in 1997, but the photos and descriptions of the finds have only just been released by archaeologists. The excavations were carried out in the very heart of ancient Constantinople, under a modern building standing on Admiral Tatville Street. A small two-story church was found here, the top floor of which is one floor below the level of the modern street. The well-preserved mosaic was found on the floor of the second floor of the temple. On the lower, first floor, there was a large reservoir of water, a gyasma, which apparently was filled from an underground holy spring. Archaeologists discovered a fresco of the most holy Theotokos with the Christ child in her arms over the agiasma. The mosaic floors are clearly visible in the photo. It is assumed that the church was built in the 5th or 6th century and was connected with the great palace of Constantinople, which was located nearby. In the upper layers above the church, a room with a vault was found, which was built in the 11th-12th century. Its purpose is still unknown. Mace or Gear According to the official information, this is a genuine bronze mace in the form of a solar disk. Vicus Culture, Colombia, 200 BC, 600 AD. What kind of damage can such a mace with such a divine shape, a flattened disc with planet rays inflict? Now imagine that you are a professional historian and you somehow need to identify this subject. If this product was found in China, then you could easily attribute it to, for example, the Han Dynasty. Since in that region already at that time similar products were used for their intended purpose, torque transmission plus various options. As an example, casting mold for a bronze wretched wheel, China, Han Dynasty. But this is South America, it is forbidden. The Indians did not know the wheel and know what to do with it. No. Of course, one could simply make a note. A chest ritual solar disk, there was a hole for a lace there. But then what to do with the big hole in the middle? Does the sun's disk have a large hole in the center? But a professional always has another blank in his stash. This is a maze, ritual purpose. And then everything falls into place. The Great Sphinx in the 1870s Established 2558-2532 BC. Not everyone knows that some 150 years ago, for the Sphinx these are generally ridiculous numbers, the legendary ancient Egyptian monument was buried up to its shoulders in the sand. It was completely dug out only in 1925. Great Sphinx now! Machu Picchu, Peru in 1912 Date of foundation, 1450. The ancient city was abandoned and forgotten for 300 years until it was discovered from the air by American explorer Professor Hiram Binham in 1911. Then the cleaning and reconstruction of Machu Picchu began. Machu Picchu now! Stonehenge in 1877 Date of foundation, 30th century BC. Until the beginning of the 20th century, one of the oldest stone structures on the planet looked different. There were more inclined and fallen elements. The restoration work of 1901-1965, according to British researchers, greatly distorted the original location of the stones. Stonehenge now. Great Wall of China in 1907. 
date of foundation, 3rd century BC. Despite its legend, the wall, gradually destroyed by time, continues to fall into disrepair. Many tens of kilometers of the wall were almost completely destroyed already in the 20th century, simply because no one interfered with this, or even vice versa. The inhabitants actively contributed to this. In 1984, a program was developed in China to restore the wall, but to this day, non-tourist sections of the wall are left to fend for themselves. The Great Wall of China is too long to, to keep it all in good condition. Great Wall of China Now Pyramid of Kakalkan, Chichen Itza, Mexico in 1892 Date of foundation between the 8th and 12th centuries. Covered with abundant vegetation at the end of the 19th century, the pyramid was fully opened only in the 30s of the 20th century. Pyramid of Kakalkan Now Al Khazna, Petra, Jordan, between 1900 and 1940. Date of foundation, 1st century. The majestic building was reopened to the whole world in 1812, and already in the 20s of the 20th century was a popular tourist attraction. But still in the photographs, you can see some restoration changes to the facade of the temple. Al Khazna now. Parthenon, Acropolis of Athens, 1839 Date of foundation, 5th century BC. Now the Parthenon is still in a dilapidated state, but still not in such a deplorable state as in the very first existing photograph of the temple. The picture is also the first in history to capture Athens. Well, how else would it look if in 1687 it was shot from a cannon? In addition, the Parthenon then served as a powder warehouse, which intensified the explosion and the damage caused to the structure. In the photo of 1839, in the center of the Parthenon, you can see the mosque built in the 17th century. Parthenon now. Rate the video with your thumbs up or down, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. This year, even more discoveries and unforgettable impressions evade you. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone!